Bonjour, hello, my name is Morgane. How are you today? <laughs> it's Valentine's Day, isn't it? I think you girls are all busy primping, trying to look gorgeous, and I know you will. Focus is on the lips, the love of lips. Cupid's bow. Some of us don't have really a big one, so I like to enhance mine. This I've traveled the world, oh gosh, since I'm 13 I've been modeling and I've worked with some of the very best makeup artists on earth and for some of the very best magazines and fashion shows, etc, etc. So I find I could say that I'm a beauty connoisseur and not only on makeup but also on beauty products. And so this is what we'll be addressing in our vlogs is how do you apply makeup for what occasion? Sometimes I might uh, uh, stretch out and make it an overall makeup. Like today, you'll see that I've uh, given you tips on how to be glamorous for Valentine's Day. I have a little trick that I love to do all the time before I put on my whole face. Is after the foundation, Okay, I have my eye, my eyes, you know, I'm backtracking here a bit. But I like to use a plumper. And what I'll do is at the end, when it's time for me to put my lips on, I'll wipe off the plumper, put a little powder again, etc., and then we'll start the lips. But this one is really good. Do up, then in flash. Mm. Now, if you're like me and you don't have big lips, Plumping helps. Now, there's a lot of tricks for plumping. Homemade ones. Cayenne pepper, cinnamon. I make a little concoction. We'll talk about that one day. I make a little homemade concoction and it really plumps them up. But today we're going to go fast. And voila. As you can see, I'm aiming for a night look, right? Because I put a lot of liner, my eyebrows are heavy. But at night, when the light is dim, you know, you only see, you, you have to pop. You have to see, the, you don't see all the finesse of makeup. You only see the, the eyebrows and the eyelashes and the lips. So, might as well go for it. Mm, it's time for the lips, you know, because people first they look at the eyes and then they look at the mouth and how your mouth. Remember I had to put plumper? Wipe off the plumper. Be very careful though. Don't wipe off too much foundation. Okay, stretch it out. Mm-hmm. Okay. I might in actuality now use a little sponge Okay, so I fixed the fact that I took off plumper. Now time to mat, mat. Oh, remember when you leave the house to use a Q-tip and wash the inside of your nose? You know why? Because powder, you, you breathe in the powder and they might think you were doing something illegal. Okay. <laughs> I am going to do Cupid's bow today since it's Valentine's Day. And I really like um, this lip liner by Lola, which is called Crush. And I really love this lip liner because I'm doing Russian Red, my very favorite, favorite, favorite lip color by MAC Cosmetics. But it, since it's Valentine's, you're obviously going to be out, going out for dinner. So there's another tool I love, it's a tint. Okay, this one is called Lip Fix by MAC. This is too dry for all day type of lipstick, but once I put my lipstick on top of it, it'll look all nice and luscious. But while I'm eating dinner, as your lipstick wears off, at least you have this under. So it's really a stain, it's a lip stain. Be careful because it's very potent. I always start with my liner, okay? Cupid's bow. You're not going to hear me talk much anymore because I'll be applying my lips. But I always start with the bow, Cupid's bow. So you follow your own bow, but you go on, well, if you have huge, gorgeous lips, follow your own lip line. 
But since I don't have big luscious lips, I'm going to fake it out. And you don't have to make the lip liner perfect because remember, we're putting a tint and then we're putting lipstick. Okay, when you do the bottom, same thing. What I do is I put my tongue, okay, to push out the lip. It stretches, you know, the wrinkles around the mouth. I sing, you know, I'm a singer, I'm a performer, I'm always, Whoa! <laughs> you know, that stuff. My funny Valentine. I did the middle, I'm going out. I am not putting lip liner in the in the corner. You know what? That's with the lipstick, okay? Okay. Now we're ready for our tint. Well, you know, you'll be drinking champagne and drinking wine or a little Cosmo with your friends, your girlfriends, your lover, etc. You want to make sure your lips are on all night. Don't forget to go to the restroom and check your makeup. Bring Q-tips with you. There's always makeup that goes and gets stuck in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to use today my MAC brush. And I am, ah, let's see, excuse me. I'll use the plastic of my eyelash container for the tint. It's very potent. Okay, voila, this is like when art, right? Da Vinci doing his makeup, I mean his painting. Well, maybe he did wear makeup, who knows back then, you know? Men were more adorned and were way more, you know, dressed up than girls back then. So, who knows? I'm sure he had a long curls, etc. Bon. Now this is very orange, but don't worry. By the time I wear, I put on my my uh, Russian red. Since I can't talk, I'll try to talk with my eyes. My tint is done. Now we're going to put on the lipstick. If you know you'll be out all night long or you're performing or you're you know that you're not going to have ch a time and a chance to really fix your lipstick the best lipstick to use is matte because when there's gloss etc it moves but matte will stay on all night or all day whatever you're doing and uh you're assured that you'll never have to reapply really just maybe inside but if it's a daytime of course you're just putting a gloss or etc but anyways my very favorite favorite lipstick on earth it's called russian red red i mean red it's a blue red by mac Oof. I love this. I think I've worn this lip since it came out in actuality because I've you know, been around. So voila. Now, uh, it's a little, the tint, you see how the tint is so dry? This looks like it is um, wet, glossy, but it's matte. It's matte. So remember that, matte, M-A-T-T. This is when you could start going in the corners, etc. Because when you're laughing, you don't want to start, <laughs> you don't want to put too much. You look like a clown either when you're cheating. Again, if you have big, beautiful, luscious lips, you're fine. Don't forget to look at your teeth once in a while. <laughs> Again, my technique, put the tongue, push the lip, the bottom lip.
you saw how I joined. I was joined, you know, because you might be going bigger and bigger. And why not? Bigger is better. Especially on Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, oof, that didn't sound too good. <laughs> Alors voilà. Do you like? Let me get the bigger mirror. Mmm, not bad. For fa first time doing it fast. Cupid's lip. Mwah. You can always. Whatever. Oh, and the Kleenex would have been nice. I could have given it to my bow, which I don't have one, but I could find one. <laughs> If you haven't seen this on Valentine's Day, and this is your first time at effiemagazine.com, my tips are still useful, you know? My girl can always look glorious and glamorous any time of the day, night, or year. Au revoir, see you next time. Thank you for sharing your time with me, and stay tuned for our next episode of Morganos Effiemagazine.com.